hella fashion week. Queens, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a video. It's been a while. We haven't been in the closet in a very long time. Um, don't mind my voice. I'm, I'm just getting over some things. <laughs> um, however, we're in the closet. It's that time of the year, time to switch over the closet, do a purge, clean out, organization, all that jazz. I try to do it every season. I get lots of questions on what I purge, how I decide when it's time to purge something, um, clothing maintenance. So we're gonna go through all of that. Um, some stuff I need to check to the tailor, cleaners, things that I've missed, um, if anything, shoe cobbler, all that stuff. And just like overall maintenance that I do on my clothes. And then of course, like some organization, my closet has changed since the last time I showed it. I'll put the last video at the end of this video. Um, if you haven't seen that, which is I think just a tour or maybe a closet clean out. But I've added two sections since then because I don't really swap out seasons anymore, mainly because of traveling. So everything is kind of out except for like workout clothes and pajamas that's in the bedroom. But all of my clothes are here, um, coats are in here, so this is everything. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. I also have some new end pieces, that's everything. See ya. Before we get into the closet organization, I do have like a mini haul because I like to kind of make room when I have new stuff. I have a stack of jeans right here. <laughs> That I don't even have room for so we got a purge and then I have a few new pieces from Thread Up. This video is in partnership with Thread Up. You know I work with them all the time um, on like a year-long basis and I have two pairs of sunglasses that you're going to die about and I'm gonna share some tips in this video on how I shop on Thread Up. I try to share every time but I'm gonna share like I'll put up the screen like I'll do a screen record and like show you my, my top tips um, of like how I navigate the website. There's a lot of things just like when you go thrifting any other time if you don't know what thread up is it's a thrifting site um you have to know exactly what you're looking for but we'll get into the tips after i share what i got so let's get started with the sunglasses because they're amazing i always find good sunglass stuff are these sunglasses and this is what i love about looking on thread up is that i can find things that i had my eye on before maybe i never got to maybe at the time i didn't i know when these came out i just didn't have it like that to buy them um but that they were always in the back of my mind and then they kind of went I guess out of style but to me this is kind of a classic they're sunglasses they are let me get the exact name they're um, Christian Dior aviators and they're called the split one I'm sure you've seen these before I, I know we all remember I know we all remember when these were everything but like it's an aviator it's always in so I found these on thread up uh, estimated retail is 585 I got them for 401 this is a designer purchase so obviously still a bit pricey but I saved I got 32% off estimated retail and I'm in love. like I would have bought these full price if I could have back in the day and now I have them oh my god I love them so much and I don't have I don't think I don't have any aviators anymore so I have a discount code for that up. I'll put it on the screen as always. It's Janae. It'll save you 30% off your first purchase. Always comes with the case and everything. So I like that. And then the other pair of sunglasses are from Celine. And I love these. Again, I don't have a sunglass in this color. How cute. How cute. Oh, hello fashion week. Hold on. These uh, estimated retail 440. I got them for 275. So 38% off estimated retail. It's the navy for me. It is this like dramatic cat eye. I mean, and they just say Celine on the sides, and it's the old Celine. So I'm not sure how many years old this are. These are, but it has to be at least two. Um, but absolutely stunning. I always check the sunglasses. We'll get into the tips. Let me just show you. Uh, I think I have two other things. Let me just show you. I've really been into jackets. Um, I got like a few moto jackets when I was in Paris, just like at a vintage store. So as soon as I got on Thread Up, I was like, let me see what the jackets are giving. And I found two. 
My absolute favorite has to be this by Ascato, which is a brand I shop at often on ThreadUp. It's mainly um, vintage and this is chocolate suede. Oh, look at the shoulder pads. Look at the shoulder pads. Now obviously it doesn't match what I have on, but just let me, let me put you down a bit so you can really chocolatey brown. Show you the back. Oh! Let me get you the price, but I'm gonna show it like on the shoulders. Oh, stop, stop it. Okay, hold on, let me put you back. Uh, estimated retail, $1,471. I got it for $191. 87% off estimated retail. And I just imagine this probably with a denim skirt or like jean. It's just so pretty. It's just really stunning. Very tailored. Okay, let me show you the other one. This one is from Armani, I believe, yes. And it's like a metallic jacket. And I just like layering pieces. I like being able to add a little razzle dazzle. This has a braiding little moment that I really like. Yeah, you can see. Look at the shade, it's literally just glowing. This one has a zip, so more of a moto style. I would never zip it all the way up like that, but super cute. This is like, you know, this is given early 2000s and that's like the vibe. Let me get the price of this one. Um, $1,332 is the estimated retail. I got it for $237. Um, so 82% off the estimated retail price. 100% leather, like these, like, excuse me, like these are all leather. Oh, I did get a pair of jeans to add to the jeans because I needed just like a plain jean and I remembered how much I liked Lucky Brand jeans. I used to work at this store called The Buckle when I was in college and like we like sold majority, majority Lucky Brand jeans. So I was like, you know what, let me give them a try. They're just simple jeans. I'll try them on and that'll be the next. All right, these are the jeans, just a simple wash. I just needed something that didn't have holes in it. Like literally all of my jeans have rips or holes and things like that. So if I just want to wear like a nice boot, a blazer, some jeans, these are those. Uh, 117 estimated retail. I got them for $31.99. 74% off estimated retail. And those are all of my thread up picks. So let's get into the tips before we get into organization. Um, but of course, make sure you use my code, Janae. I'll put it here. <laughs> you can save 30% off your, on your order. Um, and then I'll link like a, a curated list of like some of my favorites. But when I go in there and I'll put the screen up here so I can show you what I do. Um, but typically when I go like to the home page, I use the app also, I highly recommend that. I use the app, I go through and I heart things one. So it's too overwhelming to try to just like shop, like find stuff go to, you know, add it to your cart and check out. I heart things so I can think about it. Or I may find better things or like be able to narrow down my list later, but at least I don't have to go back looking for stuff. Like if something piqued my interest at all, I'm gonna heart it. And then I go to my hearts and I kind of shop the hearts. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is I always know what I'm looking for. Just like when I used to go thrifting, I have a list of things that I need because it's too overwhelming. You don't wanna get things you don't need um, and just waste your money and then end up donating it or throwing it out or giving it away. Um, and you can get easily overwhelmed and buy too much because everything looks like a good deal. So what do you need? So like for this time around, I wanted to look for sunglasses and then I always have my brands that I look for and I wanted to look for jackets. Um, I think the last time I did a video with ThreadUp, I looked for like silk shirts and I was looking for like, um, I think fun pants or bottoms or something like that. But I always have my go-to list. Now if I see something else and it piques my interest, that's fine. But I know what I'm looking for so I can stay focused. So have a list of needs in your actual closet or just things that this is a good opportunity for you to play around with or try things out that you maybe can't find in store. And then have a go-to list of brands. Always look at Escada on here. I always look at Celine on here. I'll throw it up. Um, you should be seeing it here. And even if it's like a brand like Lucky Brand, like have your brands that either you like thrifting in general or you just like 
shopping currently. Um, okay, I think that's everything with that up. Again, you can use my code. I will link um, all the details below, terms and conditions, all that jazz, and a list of a few of my favorites from Thread Up as well. These are all of my pants here um, that were like kind of up in the corner that I need to bring out now because I wear more jeans in the winter. So we need to first go through and purge. Then we need to pull out things that go to the tailor. Then we need to um, pull out things. Oh, I said purge. Um, then we need to add in things. And then we need to organize. Like the drawers, a mess. That's mainly where the purging is coming from. I've kind of went through the hanging because that's a little easy and I can kind of do that quickly. But the drawers. All right, so let's get started into this closet. First up, we are gonna purge, and we're looking for items that need some maintenance. So here, I wore this blazer during Fashion Week. It has a stain on it, so I need to take it to the dry cleaner. And I'm just going through my blazers and looking for the same thing. This is a Zara blazer I've been holding on to for two seasons now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I've never worn it. Um, so it's going in the donation pile. This blazer I wore a few months ago. A button fell off of it. I never got it put back on. I don't know how to sew. So we're gonna take that to the tailor too. So that's going in the maintenance pile. Um, and I'm just finding a pocket to kind of put it in so I don't lose it. Now I'm going through denim. Again, these are a pair of Zara pants that I told myself I was gonna get tailored, never got around to it, still haven't worn them. So I'm just putting them in the tailor pile because I really like them and I just need to get them hemmed a bit. Um, going through pants, I wore these pants on a trip to New York recently. The bottoms are super dirty, so they need to go to the dry cleaner. And I just forgot about that when I was unpacking. So that's why I like to do this. Typically I stay on top of these things, but sometimes you just forget. Those are a pair of pants from H&M that just didn't fit great. So I'm going to go ahead and donate them because I haven't worn them in a while. And then now I'm going through the denim that I'm putting back into my wardrobe. Summer shorts, which again, I'm going to keep out just in case I travel. And then I'm just putting away the rest of the jeans. These are more like straight leg pants or like skinny jeans that I want to wear with boots that I mainly wear in the fall and winter. So I'm just putting those back in my wardrobe. Now moving over to tops and again, I'm doing the same thing. So just going through, seeing what needs maintenance. These are a lot of basics. This is a Ghani shirt I haven't worn in about a year. Again, I was holding on to it because I used to really love it, but it's just not my style anymore. Um, that's an H&M sweater um, that I've also just been holding on to and I thought I would style it by now. Again, it's been over a year. I usually get rid of things if it's been six months unless it's something very seasonal. Um, this I was thinking about from Frankie Shop. I haven't worn, but I feel like I finally have some ideas for it. That's one of my favorite thread up pieces. <laughs> that's in a Scottish shirt. Um, again, that knit piece I got last fall winter. I've never worn it, so it's time to give it up, let it go. And I'm just continuing to go through. Um, but most of these I've, are pretty up to date, so it was pretty quick. Um, just taking a sip of water. Now let's go through the dresses. I recently replaced this white dress and that one fits better. So I'm going to get rid of the other one, which is just a little too big in the chest area. And again, just going through dresses are a little different because you got a lot of special occasion stuff. But um, for me, this one, I haven't worn in a long time thinking about getting rid of it. But then I think this could be good for fashion week. It's a fun pop of color and it's really comfy. So let's hold on to it for this last, um, this next season and see if I wear it. That is an Amazon dress I just never wore. It's just too much color and too many colors. I just didn't wear it, so let's get rid of it. And then lastly, going through skirts, which are pretty up to date. I was thinking about that Zara skirt, but I do like it. Um, and those shorts need to be um, tailored, so that's why I pulled those out. And again, just going through, seeing if there's any maintenance or anything, getting out the spare hangers as well. Um, that skirt is from Zara. I've had it for three or four years and I've gotten a lot of wear out of it, but the last one I put it on, it just wasn't fitting good. It's been washed too many times and it's just it was looking a little crazy. So we need to just go ahead and replace her. And I'm getting rid of a patent leather skirt that just doesn't fit great. Um, now getting into these drawers, which needs some organization. Um, looking for anything that needs maintenance with the sweaters. I look for anything that needs to be like fabric shaved. Um, if it's just looking a little rough. Um, I'm also looking for things that maybe I want to get rid of. These are more of my um, like thicker sweaters and cardigans um, that I wear a good amount of time um, and they're mostly designer. I was looking at the Celine sweater to see if it needed to be taken to the dry cleaner but still looks pretty good so I'm just folding and trying to organize everything. This next drawer is, needs the most work so 
I'm going through, there's a lot of things I just kind of throw in here. So I'm going through and just hanging things up that should be hung up like these corsets because those are like tops. This drawer is mostly like crop tops, tank tops, um, you know, turtlenecks, kind of like layering pieces, things you would wear jackets over that don't need to be hung up. But there's just a lot. So I'm going through and just trying to like color code a bit to at least make it easier for me to find what I need. Put all the blacks together, whites together, pops of color together. And then going through and seeing what, again, needs maintenance or if there's just something that is really old and damaged or I need to get rid of. Um, that's all I'm doing here. But mainly just like folding and organizing because it's basically just piles of clothes that I dig through every time I need a layering piece. Now this section over here is pretty new so I'm pretty sure everything I'm keeping so I'm just going through and kind of color coding. For me visuals are very important so this just makes getting dressed easier. It's just pleasing to my eye, makes me feel like my room is less cluttered and I just love it so I highly recommend. I just try to do colors together and you can do darkest to lightest. You can do whatever you like but I feel like when I'm looking for something it's easier for me to pull things. Um, so that's all I'm doing here and then just going through my sunglasses. I recently did a purge so these are pretty organized but I'm going to put in my third up sunglasses and just make sure those are all nice and neat. Um, but yeah this is a sunglass organization so I try to do all blacks and whites together with the navy with the color. So these are all my colorful sunglasses and silver and then I have black and white together and then I kind of have all my brown tones um, in that first drawer like you saw. This is the finished product. Everything has been color coded. I finally got the island clear um, and this just makes me so happy. Again, I like organizing my closet because it just makes it easier for me to get dressed, find what I need when I have an idea or I think of something. I know exactly where to go. I know the skirts are here, the jackets are here, my belts are here, my hats are here, right? Sneakers, sandals, everything has its place. Jewelry is here. <laughs> So it just makes the process much more streamlined. I hope this was helpful. Of course, make sure you check out my thread up selections in the description box. Use my code Janae to save 30% off on your first purchase. And let me know if this video was helpful and what you want to see next in the comment section below. Okay, bye.